Hey YouTube, Fabio here from Team Eric Kawan and I have updated my Dolce deck profile for you guys. I finally got this deck completed and I'm hoping to bring this to my upcoming regional, which is the 15th. Um, this is a 40 card deck and within the next few days I'll be uploading an OTK slash combo video for it. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's start off with the monsters. I play 3. Uh, Magellan, when she's normal summoned or flipped face up, I can add one Madolce monster from my deck to my hand. 3 Who Cake. This card is not needed at 3, but I personally like it at 3. I usually side out 1 to 2 depending on my matchups, and you'll see why when you see my side deck. Uh, his effect is I could banish 1 monster from my graveyard to special summon 1 Madolce monster from uh, my deck. He sets off your OTKs and just a really good card in general, and definitely a staple. I play 3 uh, Gelato. If he's special summoned, I can add one Madolce uh, spell or trap card from my deck to my hand. I must control a beast type Madolce monster though in order to activate it. And uh, the, pretty much the main reason why you would run him is because uh, he's a target for Invoker. So you uh, summon Invoker, use his effect, special uh, Gelato and face up defense position from your deck, and go into a rank 4, most likely to your army suit depending on the field. And, uh, yeah, so I play three Mew Fuel. When he's normal summoned, I can special summon one Madolce monster from my hand. Really good card. Um, I do think it's needed at three. Well, I've seen a lot of builds play two, even one, but I personally like this card at three. I tack in one Croissant. Pretty good card. Um, his effect is, uh, I can return one. Uh, face up with Dolce card I control to my hand. This card gains 300 attack and it gains a level. Uh, pretty much it, let's say you have Ticket and Chateau on the field, you normal Croissant. Use his effect, bounce the Chateau, you get the effect of Ticket to add to the hand. Um, pretty much, I guess it starts off your plays too in a way, but pretty good card. I, I only like one in this deck since, yeah, I can easily add it to my hand or special summon it with uh, numerous ways I guess uh, play two werewolf when a level four or lower monster is special summoned I can special summon this card from my hand and since the Dolce special summon a lot um, I could pretty much go into an easy rank three with him and just a really good card in general uh, and yeah like I said he's a level three so that's even better more synergy in the deck and uh, when he's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, I can add one TG monster from my deck to my hand, except for TG Warwolf. So, if he was destroyed, I can add a uh, TG Striker. I'm so glad this card came back up to two because he's a level two tuner, Earth type. And um, if my opponent controls a monster and I control no monsters, I can special summon this card from my hand. Really good card. Um, like I said, a level two tuner, and uh, I can easily go into Beast and Barkion. So, yeah. For hand traps, I'll play two Maxi and two Valor. That's it for the monsters. Uh, let's go into um, spells and traps now. For spells, I play two Chateau and two Ticket. Um, before we get into their effects, I just want to say that the reason I play two of each is because uh, three is cloggy and. I, these cards can easily be searched out with Gelato's effect, and um, and they can easily be um, recycled back into my deck with Jarmisu's effect. So two of each is a perfect amount. I wouldn't run any more or any less. So pretty much what, what Chateau does is um, uh, when it's activated, I shuffle all my Dolce monsters from my graveyard into my deck, and all my Dolce monsters currently on the field gain 500 attack and defense. So that's obviously counting the opponent's monsters as well. Ticket's effect is uh, when a Madolce monster is returned from your side of the field or graveyard to the hand or to the deck, I can add one Madolce monster from my deck to my hand. If I control a fairy type Madolce monster, I could special summon that target instead of um, adding it to my hand. Really good card. Really good card. Um, so let's say uh, 
one of your mo one of your Madolchi monsters got compulsed, you would still get the effect of tickets until it was returned to your hand. So it's a really good card. Um, Calm as well with Chateau as well. So what you would do is activate Ticket, and while you have mo uh, Madolchi monsters in the grave, you activate Chateau. Your monsters get returned to the deck, and then you get a free search with a uh, Ticket. So a lot of combos you can do with this card and. Just saying, they are not stackable, so you cannot. Um, you can only you can only activate the effect once per turn. So, and yeah, that's so that's what they do. We play two of each. Play Dark Hole, Rota, such a great card because I can add a TG Striker to my hand, so I can go for a quick synchro, or yeah, span the field with more monsters. Really good card. Um. I recently added this in because I do like the ability to synchro and now that TG Strikers at 2 it makes um, Rotom even more alive and plus you can add a uh, Messenger Lotto if you really wanted to but most of the time it'll be Striker 2 MST and 2 Double Summon that's it for spells oh for traps I play Warning, Compulse, Torrential, 2 Mirror Force, 2 Waboku, uh, Strap Iron Scarecrow, pretty good stall card in my opinion, I mean, I guess it's more of a tech choice, but it's, it's a really good card because I can stop one attack each turn and it's not a bad card kind of underrated and yeah since uh this deck does have consistency issues uh i guess this card just slows down your opponent more and i guess it could stop otks depending on their field and yeah and to end up the end off this uh trap cards i play madolce palooza such a great card what it does is um I could special summon any number of Madolce monsters from my hand. During the end phase, they are shuffled back into my deck. Really good, really great card. Um, and again, I only play one because it's easily searchable through Gelato, and you can easily uh, spam uh, spam out X Y Zs and whatnot. Do shenanigans with it. Great card. Only need you only need one. So that's it for the main deck. Let's go into the side deck. I play two, Mind Drain. Uh, this hurt. This uh, this card hurts a lot of decks at the moment, like Mermels, even uh, uh, Dragon Ruler Plants. When I when I si when I side these in, I'll most likely side out the Warwolves or Strikers, depending on my opponent. Depending on what my opponent's playing. Um, pretty good card. Play two goes in match. Uh, since my deck is completely earth, except for the hand traps. Well, Maxi is earth, but... But, like, why would I normal summon them? So, uh, my whole deck is earth, besides the Warwolves. So when I side these in, I side out my Warwolves. And, yeah, so, just a really good card. It hurts a lot of decks, too, so... Yeah, I play two ch two chain disappearance. Uh, good against the mirror match since I could banish their mu fuels. And yeah, pretty good card in my opinion. Um, just yeah, I really like it. I play two imperial iron walls. Um, when I side these in, I usually side out. No, I definitely side out the um who cakes. Not all of the who cakes. Most likely two of them, since um, I obviously won't open my hand with a Imperial Iron Wall, and you'll probably always have a Who Cake that's alive. Two Flying Sea, just a good card in general. Ally just is Quarter Destroyer. If you guys don't know what this does, it's pretty much like it's a Cataster, but just for Light Monsters, and um. Yeah, so hurts Constellers and any other light heavy deck. So just a pretty good card. I only like to run one, so 
uh, two DD Crow. Believe it or not, this card's actually really good. So, let's say I'm playing against Dark Worlds or some rogue deck that pretty much depends on the grave. I could banish whatever they have or whatever, but yeah, really good card. And then two Kaikus. Nothing about nothing that like special about the Kaikus. They're just kind of there. That's it for the side deck. Let's move on to the extra deck. I play Catastrophe. Oh yeah, and these are level 5 synchros, by the way. Armades. This is the la this was the last card I needed to complete my deck, and I finally got it today, so I'm so happy about that. And this card, for this card, um, is going up in price quite a bit now. It went from like 10 to 12 dollars to now it's like 25 plus now. Kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, great card, great card. Uh, play Beast. Uh, if you don't if you don't know what beast does, um, it requires an earth type tuner and uh, one or more non tuner earth type monsters. What he does is um, when my when a spell card is activated, I can mill two cards to um, negate the activation and destroy it. And for level sixes, I play Barkion. Uh, he requires an earth type tuner and. Uh, one or more non-tuner earth type monsters and when um when a trap card is activated I can banish two cards from my graveyard to negate the activation and destroy it really great card um typically um I'm not I don't really go into it too much since my dolces tend to have a low graveyard count but sometimes like my graveyard does become pretty hefty and I do go into him and just really good card so for rank threes I play two invoker definitely needed at two um, whoops uh, would not want to play it any other way because obviously your invoker will get ran over by anything with 1700 or more or 1600 actually and uh, yeah like I said it can be it can be triggered by card effects also so e this card can easily be taken care of so that's why I play two and more times than not, you'll go into two of them during a game. So again, it's good to have two. One Zen mains for stall. Leviathan. I guess it happens time time to time. Uh, Giga Brilliant. Uh, and Levier for rank threes. Levier is good because I use Who Cakes effect to banish. Uh, let's say TG Striker, for instance. Later on in the game, I go into Levier, bring back my Striker. I could then synchro again if I really want to. So it's a really good card and yeah, just a pretty good card in general. Two Tiaramisu. Definitely not needed at three and uh, you definitely want two because I usually go, depending on how I do, I would go into two per game. So really good card in general. Um, pretty much like your high priestess of the deck or whatever it's a really good card um, if you don't know what this does um okay so let's see let's see um i can detach one egg it will first of all it requires two level four mandolce monsters and once per turn i can detach an exceeds material from this card to target up to target up to two Madolce cards in my graveyard, shuffle those targets into your deck, and then target, or no, sorry, it doesn't target. Tiramisu does not target, guys. Uh, I, then I could shuffle um, up to two cards my opponent controls into their deck. Really great card. Really, really good. Um, and yeah, let's say I have Chateau on the board. Use her effect. Uh, detach one, and I target my two. I could add them to my hand instead of shuffling shuffling them back into my deck because I have Chateau on the board. That's really good play, and um, and yeah, and if I use her effect while I have Ticket on the board, um, I can special summon a Madolce from my deck because um, she's a fairy type, and um, and uh, Madolce card is returned from my graveyard into my deck, or it was added to my hand depending on the field. So yeah. Really, really good card. Uh, I play Blade Armor. I do go into this with the two Gelatos. 
this card pretty much you need this card to OTK and it's very easy to do so believe it or not one cowboy because it does happen you know I mainly ran out of uh, ideas to put in the deck so I just added this and utopia for stall also that's it for the extra deck and um, yeah that's about it for this video uh, kind of a lengthy video I know but hopefully you guys enjoyed and please be sure to uh, comment rate and subscribe and be sure to check out the combo video to come up in the next few days thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys later